here she is and still one of the best bantamweights or featherweights on this UFC roster, Holly Holm. She has had Mike Winklejohn in her ears since she was 16, 17 years old, and she still believes she is adding layers to her striking game and getting better like a fine wine. Holly Holm is the type of fighter that the canvas is completely open to painting on. Holly Holm was the 2012 female boxer of the year. Crazy. Then after all that time away from boxing, she then becomes the UFC champion and does that with a variation of skills, not just boxing. As you see in the Megan Anderson fight, when things got tough on her feet, she had the ability to take it to the ground and use her grappling to win that fight. But the biggest moment was the knockout of Ronda Rousey when she was a massive underdog to capture her first UFC championship. Maybe the most signature win in UFC history for any man or woman and one of the best highlights you will ever see. Holly Holm looking for more where that came from here tonight. Well, she's about as well-rounded as it gets, DC, and I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day. The first day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It shows. It shows in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to do a kickboxing match with the best kickboxers. Her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree. And, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, six losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Holly, the preacher's daughter. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of nine wins, three losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Aspen Lad! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Well, the tension and the buzz is palpable as this fight gets started. Interesting stylistic matchup. Your thoughts on what we might see? This is a big-time matchup between a fantastic striker and a great all-around mixed martial artist. Both of these women are extremely talented. Let's see who gains the advantage. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Liver kick. Throws the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, Dick? Ooh, what a punch. Left hand punch from the clinch. Just missed with the left there. A head kick attempt. It is blocked by Hall. Right hand punch from the clinch. for position here. Another shot here. Three minutes remain in the round. So just over 20 total strikes for Holly Holm. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. So again, they will clinch here. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Holm. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Back in the clinch now. Now she's got the Muay Thai plump. Oh, very nice job by her to turn those hips and really dig that foot into the lead leg. Dug it right into her opponent's thigh. Her opponent cannot take any more of these strikes. Y'all are just crazy for choosing this as, as a career. You can't just check those kicks. You better check those kicks. Beautiful punch. 
Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. Big kick lands. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice takedown lands. And potentially a critical takedown here. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Oh, wow, oh! It's in there deep, there you go. Five minutes just here, box. Will, is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, full guard now, DC. She's on the bottom. What is she trying to do? Well, she's got to throw up submissions to try to put her opponent on awareness. And these submissions will be used to reverse the position. Even if it gets defended, it will create space for her to try to get back to her feet or maybe to steal a sweep and trick her opponent. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Big kick land. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Now she's got the more time to Nice punch lands over the top. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. the takedown, no problem. And lands the left there. And there's a takedown attempt. Holm gets caught with that punch. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Oh, straight right! Oh! Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. We march on, three minutes to go. And there's a takedown attempt by her there, DC, but she's unable to get it. She's unable to get it. Her opponent is ready and expecting the attempt. She has to mix it up, she has to trick her. Go to a different shot if she's gonna secure this takedown. They're able to work it into the takedown. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground and pound. Money in the bank. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Nice kick. She's looking to land that right punch just out of range. Oh, she put everything into that leg. She threw her entire body into that kick, and you see the damage that is possible. Okay. Well, DC, I know you're high on that. Oh! Oh! She's got the head trap now. Guillotine choke coming. Nicely done. And she's back up again, so the takedowns have been there, so have the get -ups. So there's the horn, the round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? Calm down. She's taking it down way too easy. We've got to commit to the 
All right, next round is now underway. Didn't love that previous round. Both women had some moments, but not necessarily back and forth high level action. Whoa! Oh, she left at her and lands the diving punch to the head. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pound. Lance with the right hand. Holmes' lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Can you... Oh! Oh, she might be in trouble now. Huge diving punch to the head. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Good Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of the fight. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Gore just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Holm gets back up again. Nicely done. trying to send a message to the rest of this division, that is how you send it. So a near-perfect shot for her to end the fight. She had this crowd behind her all night long, and I'm not sure how many other fighters in this division could have absorbed that strike and stayed in the fight. A near-perfect land to get the knockout win here tonight. And there she is after the huge knockout here tonight. What a moment for this fighter. You can't help but feel good for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, Holly, the preacher's daughter, Holly. Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent and take one to give one. And when she gave one, it shut the opponent's lights out. Great job finding that kill shot.